Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. Now only 15 days are left for Gate Architecture 2023. You know, I remember the time when I gave Gate in 2019 and these 15 days were left and I was so confused, so stressed and I didn't know what to do, what not to do. It was a big question for me. Like at this last time, how to cover whole syllabus, what to do, how to execute all this. And I was also having self-doubt and lack of confidence, whether I remember any, whether I know anything or not, whether I have learned anything or not. All such kind of question, negative thoughts were coming to my mind and it was affecting my confidence a lot. Seriously, a lot. But, you know, I needed to come up with any strategy so that I get hold of the situation. I get control of whatever I was thinking and feeling that time. And if you are also struggling with the same thing, don't worry. Just welcome to the club. <laughs> it happens. I guess it happens with everyone. But don't worry. That time I came up with a strategy and it helped me a lot. Seriously. And I helped many other students with that strategy. And I hope it will help you also. So let me introduce myself first. I am Parul Sharma. I did my bachelor's in architecture from MBM Engineering College, Jodhpur, Rajasthan. And I did my master's in infrastructure design and management from IIT, Kharagpur. I secured All India Rank 28 in GATE 2019. Coming straight to the strategy. So uh, first of all, there might be students who have completed all the syllabus or there might be few students who have finished like 80% of the syllabus or 60% or 40 or 25%. It doesn't matter at all. Not at this time, right? This time you need to maintain your confidence whether you have completed any of uh, any percentage of the syllabus. Take out the syllabus that you have covered. Okay. Be it any number. Doesn't matter. And take out the piece of paper and divide it into three parts. Strengths, weakness and things to do. Now, how you need to do it is the syllabus that you have covered. For example, if I take uh, how will I do it? Uh, so, for example, if I take the subject construction and management in construction and management, port and CPM is my forte. Estimation is my forte, right? I'll write it down. Then in that forte, I'll make sub points also. For example, in uh, port and CPM, I am confident about the forward pass, backward pass and how to calculate float and everything. So I'll write it down. Okay, so for example, in my weakness, I would write disaster resistant structure. That is my weakness. I have studied it some two months or three months back, but now I don't remember it exactly what was in it. Okay, so this might be the case. And in things to do, now listen to this very carefully. In things to do, what I'll write, so for example, my estimation is my strength, but for estimation to be my strength and to make it even more stronger, I need to revise the formulas of area and volume. Of different objects okay so I'll write that thing in things to do revise area and volume formulas okay so I'll be more confident so if any question arises of any type of uh, any type of structure so I'll be able to do it right and for example in disaster resistant structure I'll only study the structure the type of structures that are useful in that okay I have noted it in things to do okay and similarly let's take another example for example urban design and landscape design so in urban design I am good in numericals uh, for example FAR numerical density numerical all those numericals I am good at it okay I'll revise the numericals along with the formulas ki what was the formula how how I calculated FAR question what was in density okay all these things are my strength now in weakness so there might be some theories uh, because I am weak, I was weak in theory that time. So uh, there might be some theory like urban design theory. So that is my weakness. And now things to do. What I need to do right now as of now to make it my strong part uh, is maybe uh, so I feel the need to, you know, uh, revise architects of landscape architecture. Maybe. So just write those things that are your achievable goals. It will, uh, it is not advisable to write anything that you haven't studied yet and to start it from scratch and you are just writing it. Okay, so that is not advisable at all. Uh, so what is the agenda behind this strategy is this will help you in gaining confidence of what you have done and also 
now you have this plan okay i need to do this 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 just take that piece of paper just take that paper and stick it on the wall so that you can see it and you can take it okay this is done this is done this is done i used to do this i i did this in last 15 days and seriously it helped me a lot so that helped me sticking to the plan and i wasn't thinking about the rest of the syllabus for say i have covered 85% of the syllabus so the, the rest 15% i wasn't worried about it because i knew i have covered a lot and in that a lot i knew i was confident about the things so my only aim that time was to uh, make my strength even more stronger and convert my weakness to my strength and the way to do that was the points mentioned in the things to do how uh, that will help me in converting my weakness to my strength and that way i gained the confidence you know and it helped me a lot seriously and many people have benefited from this i hope it will help you also just take 30 minutes out of your time and write it down write a complete point write complete points uh, what you have studied so far I hope it will help you in gaining the confidence. So with this thank you so much and wishing you all the very best.